Hey folks, what's up? This is Keith and you're watching Barbara's Auto Help. Thank you so much for watching. Today's video is going to be about two common causes and fixes of a vibration on a vehicle that's been sitting for an extended period of time. The first cause would be flat spotting on the tires. Uh, as you know, when your tire is sitting on the, the bottom of the tire where it mates up with the surface of your driveway there, it's flat. And if it stays that way for an extended period of time, maybe months, that flat spot will actually stick in the tire and it'll cause a vibration. It usually feels like a wheel vibration as you're going down the road. So sometimes you can get rid of that just by driving the vehicle. You may have to drive the vehicle for 100, maybe 150 miles. And that may work that flat spotting out. And oh, by the way, this flat spotting can be uh, uh, experienced on more than just one, one tire on your vehicle there. So do keep that in mind. Now, if the flat spotting does not work its way out, you typically have to replace the tire. Now you see on this tire here, as I spin it, you can see that flat spot every now and then, whenever it does 180 uh, turn there, you'll see that little flat spot come up to the top and it'll do a little dippity do there. So that's, that's a good example of flat spotting. And like I said, sometimes you can get rid of that by driving it. Sometimes you just have to uh, replace the tire. And the way you check for that is just like I showed you in the video there. You jack your vehicle up, spin the tire, and you look for flat spotting. It's usually pretty obvious where the flat spotting is and you can spot it pretty easily. Now, the second cause would be rust buildup on the rotors. And in particular, rust buildup right where the pad meets up with the rotor. Now, if you've taken spin your wheel just a little bit, you may see, if this is the problem, you may see a rust spot on the rotor that's in the same pattern as the shape of your pad. So if you see that, then this probably applies. So that, uh, that rust spot that continuously rotates as you're going on the road, whenever that rust, that rust spot comes up and rubs up against your pads again, even though your, your brakes aren't engaged, it will hit your pads and cause a little bit of a vibration similar to a wheel vibration or a vibration that's caused by a wheel out of balance. Now the way you fix this is you aggressively stop the vehicle several times, maybe 10, 20 aggressive stops and do this on a road that's safe, make sure nobody's behind you and you're not slamming on brakes, you're just stopping with more force than you're normally stopping, okay? And you do that until the sensation is gone. However, this may not get rid of that, especially if the rusting is very severe you may have to have the rotor resurfaced. Or if the rotor is not thick enough to be resurfaced, you may have to have the rotor replaced. So do keep that in mind. But that's a pretty easy fix for that, and typically that does work. So that's two common causes and fixes for a vibration on a vehicle that has been sitting for an extended period of time. Now this may not apply to every vehicle out there. So this is just two common things that you may experience if your car's been sitting for a very long time. So just wanna throw that disclaimer out there. This may not help you at all, but these things are easy to check for, and if you see them, then you can address them. Now, if you have any questions, and if this video helped you, please comment down below. I want to know if it helped you, and I want to know if you have any questions if this video did not help you. Uh, also, please read the entire description down below this video for more information about this. Uh, I may need to clarify some things, and it may bring up some other things down there that I didn't mention in the video. So, please read that, guys. Also, please hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you again for watching.